Well, still working on the turbo switch. Um, that's just, I don't know. Might be just the contactors, but the materials I used. But, I'm gonna try something different. Got these on off actual switches. I think I can rig up a few of these to uh, our turbo unit. This is one of the switches here. And it's kind of weird because I checked them to see, you know, if they were, you know, made of contact just normally when it's at like this. Or if it, you know, if it made a contact or there was no contact until you activated it. So I would say it would be, this would be considered normally open, an open circuit. And then when you hit the button, you close the circuit and connect it. But then when I checked it, one side, these two, when you connect it together, I put a C there, at the closed circuit, because you check it with the meter, and just the way it is, power is going through the switch. But then you check this at the same time, and nothing happens. So you switch our power over to this side, and check it with the meter, and it's don't have any power going through it until you activate the switch so it's I put an O it's I should we consider open so I went ahead and marked them all with the C and the O so we don't get things mixed up but I'm gonna wire this up and see if it works alrighty I kinda roughly got our switch rigged up here on the bench these two switches are for normal normal drive and these two switches will be our overdrive or turbo I don't have turbo hooked up yet we're just doing a test on normal drive right now so I've got everything wired up with our batteries everything except for the 36 volts Alrighty, back to our test. You can hear the motor I'm hoping. Okay, I'm gonna unhook the clamp here. So this would be normal drive. He's zipping down the road. And then, see that turns off normal drive. And then we kick in your turbo drive. We zoom back to normal drive and Nothing happens. The motor controller, everything is totally isolated from the motor in this position. Alrighty, I got a turbo switch all wired up and everything. This side would be normal drive. And then this side is our turbo drive. So normally it's like this. You just cruise right along. And then you would push the lever lever over to engage overdrive or a turbo. Let's give it a try here. Set up here. So you're cruising along. Oops. Get a clamp off of here. Okay, say so you're cruising along, top speed. You want to kick in overdrive. 
Boom, bitches. Check this again. I thought I'd seen a little bit of smoke over here. Zipping along at full speed. Hmm. Uh oh. Nothing works now. What do we do? Well, it worked for a minute, and then we burned out both of the positive switches. So these are only designed to carry 12 volts, I would believe, and we run 24 volts through this one and 36 through this one. So, um, so I think our next best bet would be solenoids heavier duty switches basically so we'll need a switch to turn each one on turn each one off it keeps getting more and more complicated <laughs> 